this professor just dropped the worst video game take of all time. I'm Frank Michael Smith, and this is the Frank Michael Smith Show, presented by Underdog Fantasy. The sports world was devastated when John Madden passed away. He was an excellent player, coach, and broadcaster. But the one thing that connects all generations of football fans is the Madden video game. Shockingly, I didn't realize how much a select group of people hate these games. To be honest, I didn't think there was anything to hate. Now, when I say this is a bad take, I'm not talking in the realm of Kellerman's Iguodala take. No, this take is in an entirely different stratosphere. Andrew McGregor is a doctor of 20th century US history, sports, and popular culture. He currently works as a history professor at Dallas College and claims to be a sports studies influencer on his Twitter page. On December 28th, just hours after it was announced that Madden passed, Andrew McGregor took to Twitter to give his two cents. He fired off a series of tweets that I'm going to try and sum up as best as I can. Andrew starts with the claim that the Madden video game series was a bad development for America due to its glorification of violence. He goes on to say it dehumanized black athletes. Now, this is already ridiculous, but he takes it a step further by referring to the game as plantation cosplay. Andrew believes the game glamorizes athletes while simultaneously ignoring their humanity. He hones in on John Madden, saying that at every point of Madden's career in football, he profited off of black athletic labor. He concluded by claiming none of his contributions had a positive impact on society. For that reason, Andrew believes he is not worthy of veneration or respect. That's a lot to take in, so I'm gonna break it down. First off, even if I remotely agreed with Andrew, to use the immediate death of a person to push your own views by trashing them is grotesque. Did he really need to come out on Twitter just to say, hey, too many people respect this guy that just died? It's an utter lack of awareness that borders sociopathic behavior. Andrew first claims Madden dehumanized black athletes and glorified violence. Creating digital copies and interpretations of athletes is simply not dehumanization. Everyone is aware of the existence of these athletes as real human beings. To say the Madden game is a glorification of violence is misguided. It's a glorification of football and controlled violence is an inherent component of the game. The more I read, the more I realized that Andrew doesn't have an issue with Madden or with the game, but football as a whole. To call a football video game a plantation cosplay shows a complete lack of understanding of football or the video game. When people play Madden, it's to simulate what it's like to coach a team, run a front office, and play with your favorite athletes. Nobody is firing up their console and jumping on Madden so they can simulate what it's like to enslave black men. Andrew is equating professional football players to slaves. This is next level delusional, it's dangerously ignorant, and it's an insult to the atrocities of real slavery that took place around the world. Andrew targeted John Madden, saying that at every point in his career, he profited off of black athletic labor. Sure, John profited off the growth and development of football, and that growth can largely be attributed to the excellence of black athletes. But you know who else profits from black athletic labor? Literally every single person involved with football, including black athletes. The Madden video games are a for-profit series and they pay the NFLPA in order to operate. The NFLPA actually distributes this money to players, roughly $20,000 per player. Additionally, a significant portion of that money is used to support retired players with lingering health problems. In 88, the first year of the game, the average salary in the NFL was about 250,000. Today, it's up to 890,000. The only thing Andrew and I can agree on is Madden significantly helped to grow the game of football. In doing so, he put more money in the pockets of everyone associated with football. This is an institution that has created more black wealth than any organization in American history. Another piece that needs to be considered is Madden had little to do with the actual development of the game. He was by all accounts merely a spokesperson. With the growth of video games, the development of a football video game was inevitable, and if we're talking about violence, the Madden game is significantly more tame than Street or Blitz. At the end of the day, John Madden shouldn't just be celebrated for his contributions to football, but for his quality of character. Naturally, nearly every person who came across Andrew's rant destroyed him for it. Instead of taking a break from Twitter and reconsidering, Andrew felt the need to let the world know that he's still right and everyone that disagreed with him simply isn't capable of understanding something so complex. Well, Andrew, your response was completely condescending, and if you're watching this, it's an open invite to come on via Zoom and discuss in greater detail. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you to The Game Day for being a channel sponsor. Check them out. They have amazing new original shows.